but yeah. Hello everyone, everyone, I'm the Crimson DM, and welcome back to Crimson Plays Under Rail. In this episode, we talk about how I might be a cartoon character comprised of bits and of bits of one and zero and colors and stuff, but you know, my me being comprised of data that is found on the internet is about as real, spooky bats, about as real as this video game, or as your comments, anywhere. Seriously, anytime I comment on the internet, it's just a bunch of ones and zeros, and that's what my entire existence on the internet is. If you stop and think about it, even my voice, which is voice acted by a real person, a real human being, um, it's a bunch of ones and zeros translated onto a computer, right? So, isn't that what we all are on the internet? Like... Your Facebook profile is just ones and zeros. It's not real any more than my voice that you're hearing now. Any more than my avatar, which is the cartoon character of me. Any more than anything else. Like, we're all ones and zeros on the internet. That's all we are. But, oh crap, but does that make us less real? I would think not. I think we're all real, but we're all just special. Ow. I'm gonna die. And all so I can make this silly rant. Oh, maybe I won't die. Okay. But like, yeah, if you really think about the meta of it, it's kind of crazy. And people act like the internet is so real and so important all the time but if the internet is actually more real than your real physical life then what does that really mean eh did I just waste that I really hope I didn't oh I'm gonna be so upset I think I wasted it no Oh well. But not no well, because that's Christmas. And Christmas is over. Oh, is there more more goobly googles? More things to kill? I heard a squeaking of an oink. Okay. Um, I got one very important question, and that in question is uh why is there so many pegs? Like, why? Oh, I just went through... Maybe I shouldn't be recording any more episodes. I'm tired. I've been at this all day, trying to get enough material for uploading in the postponing what, whatever, the, the daily uploads while I'm not having internet. Mutants! And they're roasting the pig the swine and this is where the mutants hang out oh I see this is not a uh, not a safe place I'm gonna leave I might come back later but I'm gonna leave for now now see I had the goal originally of leveling up some more but also just getting more items and equipment and monies, and I think I did that. I still hear an oink. Oh no, not more of them. Okay. Oh, crap cackles, really? You suck! I'm sorry, what the crap was that? I'm dead. 
Okay, so there might be a few too many of those guys to want to take care of. Is there a secret pig? Why can I barely hit you? You're the worst kind of secret pig. The overpowered kind of secret pig, apparently. Jeez. I'm dead, but, you know, it was worth trying. Okay, so there's an evil secret powered pig there. Why, though? But why? I don't know. I mean, the good news is I think I'm powerful enough I can actually go and explore quite a few areas. But, you know, it's also really dangerous to do that. Please get out of line of sight before I go and go and go and die. And I really don't want to wonder why, wonder why I die. Okay, so where does this go? Oh, I remember this. I remember. Yeah, there was some annoying bugs here. I did not like fighting them. I used a grenade on them, and yeah. This music, this soundtrack for this game, simply put, one of the best soundtracks for a game I've heard in a long time. And I'm really happy about that. Very happy. Very, very happy. So let's see what's on this side of the railroad. Okay, there's a little door. Let's take the little door. Just a little tiny door snuck away right here. Let's see what's over here. Wait a minute. If I get lost in these tunnels, how am I going to get back? Painfully. The answer is painfully. Barra Panfuls. Okay, just some rat hounds. I mean, I can deal with that, but. Why can't I get a good aim shot? Ha! Oh, that's rich. Okay, there's a few more of them than I thought there might be. Hey, I'm a cheap bastard. Time to die. Ow. Okay, I knew I made a choice of some variety when I chose to use that grenade. Man, I'm in a not so good position. Especially considering how low I am on health resources. I gotta kill this guy. Even though he's not the one who's going to really mess... Oh, crap. Me up. Ow. Okay. I'm waiting. Anticipating. Knowing that my death is coming soon. And I'm waiting. Anticipating. 
for this guy who will bring a broom. I was so scared that that was going to happen. And I'm not able to use that yet. Oh, crap. Dude, did you freaking move to shoot him? Crap. Okay, well, I expected that, actually. See, the problem here is that rat hounds suck when they're in a large group. And this appears to be a large group. Why is there just one dead rat hound? Does that... Oh, there's a couple of dead people. Um, that sucked. Okay, you know what? I'm deciding that's not a good place to be. Though, I probably do want to loot those corpses. Because chances are there might be an oddity in one of them. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find a good area for dealing with them rat hounds. Why is that mine shroom dripping? Is that weird? I feel like that's weird. Alright, at this point, I'm not sure how much else I'm going to be able to find and actually discover out here and use. Uh, that just looks like it goes up there. Whoa! That's cool! Okay, you know what? Finding secret things is fun again. Even if it doesn't always make sense. Okay, I'm back. Baby, I'm back. So, let's check out this area and see what's over here. Um, I'm definitely going to want to check out that rat hound nest because I'm sure there's something good there. Uh, let's see. Can't do anything with that. I discovered an under... Oh, I see. Underwater rock bridge. Ah, oh, man. Wait. That guy's got a name. Let me see. The lone man notices you, approaches camp, and swiftly responds by aiming the gun at your head. It takes him a few moments to address you, and does so with a voice that seems rather calm and relaxed considering the tense situation at hand. Don't move, buddy. Don't even think about moving, or else you'll find yourself obliterated on the spot. Now... Who are you, and what are you doing in these caves? Uh... Whoa, don't shoot, man. My name's Crimson. Um... Whoa, don't shoot. Man, my name is Crimson. What? And what? And I mean no harm. Crimson, Crimson. As you may have already noticed, Crimson, Crimson, as you may have already noticed, we are in the middle of a cave and you just happen to have stumbled upon this little camp here. And I'll be keeping my eyes on you and you better make sure that I don't spot you doing anything funky or else. Just think of me, uh, just think of my introduction drug to okay, there, blah. Just think of how I pointed the gun at your head again and you'll know what happens. Now, tell me what you want. Uh, what are you doing out here all alone? Well, first of all, what I am doing out here is none of your business. But alone, I am... At least for the moment. Yet, you are here too, somehow. He makes a brief pause in, before continuing. By the way, did you happen to notice anyone else in those caves? As a matter of fact, I did. 
I saw two men were killed by rat hounds not too far away from here. So, that explains it. Look now, one of those men has a key that is very important to me. If you could get it for me, I'd be willing to pay you 50 shares for it. Easy money. Could use some money. It's a deal. Great. I'll be here. Waiting. I have a feeling that whatever's in the footlocker might be worth a little more than 50 shares, am I right? But, we'll, we'll humor him for the moment. I might have to kill him, but we'll humor him for the moment. Okay, I might, I might want what's inside those things more than poor old Milton there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, I guess I'll go back and get those, get those teas. Really wish I didn't discover that was a quest. Really wish that I didn't discover that was a quest because I didn't want to have to go and do that. That's annoying. That's bad. That's really bad, okay? Also, I think I discovered today that if I take a Sudafed, I'm a lot better off with my frigging allergies than anything else. But I am very dehydrated and it sucks. So, I either get to be dehydrated and okay, or I get to be miserable and full of snot. I don't get to have both of them because life. Because that's life. You know it is. Okay. I'm a lazy guy. I blow your school sky high. They're not a school of fish. What do you call a rat? A pack? A flock? It's a flock of moosin. Hey, it's a flock of moosin, I. And stab you in the face, stab you in the face. I knew there'd be more trouble. What are you doing? Oh, crap, cackles. I mean, of course it'd be like that, but you couldn't just go and tell me. Please hit. Ooh, good boy. Ah, uh, now you can't hit it all, so... Why? Why? I mean, the little rat hounds aren't that big of a deal. It's the big ones that I need to worry about. But... It'll still be a concern. Okay, now, I can try and stab the rest of them out, but that's probably not a smart idea. Or, I could do as I've been doing, and grenade. Which is what I'm gonna do, because grenade. Ah, smell the love of- I, I love the smell of cooked rat in the morning. Barbecued mar barbecued rat, mm, yum. If you don't like the smell of barbecued rat, you aren't a true Texan, or whatever you'd be in this game. You aren't a true SGS member. You gotta love that smell of barbecued rat in the morning. Mmm. Smells like disease. That's a large intestine. That's disgusting. Okay.
I will come back to that in a moment. Um, boop, boop. Just take all. Thank you. And loot. Okay. Is that it? Is that all I get? All for my trouble. I just get that. You know, the cool thing about the rat hounds, okay? The cool thing about them is that they are the... They, they have that trait where when you fight one of them, they all seem to psychically connect to each other. Um, I think it's called pack hunting or something, which is awesome. Okay. Is that it? Is, is that really all? Okay. I would have hoped there'd be more, but I'll accept that. Let's see. Over here, there is more rocks. You know, I need to get TNT, and I don't know how to do that. I... Whoa! Uh, what? What? I'm sorry. My brain died for a, a moment. I think I had a heart attack. There's a person around here. Oh no, my weapon's degraded! What's that mean? Does that mean I need to switch out my weapon? But I can't use a... another melee weapon yet. Okay, so do you know how much it bothers me emotionally that there are secret people in this world? That gives me the heebie-jeebies like none other. It also doesn't help that they have pink outlines around their faces for some reason. And that they got, like, kind of creepy music. Like, like that's a freaking nightmare zone. Like, what am I supposed to think? I think that a ghost or Cthulhu or the ghost of Cthulhu or Cthulhu ghost. Ghost Thulu. Yeah, it's Ghost Thulu. And then Ghost Thulu's hiding back there. That's what I think. Those are my thoughts. And no, I don't mean thoughts as in the ladies on uh, Instagram. I mean thoughts as in spelled properly and not improperly, which gives me a grammar Nazi heart attack. I don't like when people improperly spell things to make memes out of stuff. I'm the epiphany of butt monkeys. If I ever start selling merch, I know that one of them has to be a shirt that says, I'm going to kick your teeth in. But am I going to be forced to sell a shirt that says butt monkeys on it? Probably. Not sure I'm exactly excited about that one. Hey, I found this key that you are looking for. Really? Give it to me. I promised Charons, and I have them right here. Mercantile! I want double! Fine, I'll give you a hundred. Usually you'd get a bolt in the brain between your eyes, but today, I feel a bit more merciful. You hand them the key? Great. He pockets it, and... Yeah. Now, before I leave this area, okay, let's try something new, shall we? I want to know what's in there. I don't even want it. I just want to know what's in there. Like, it could be anything. I don't give a crap. I just want to know what is in that footlocker so I can have fun with knowing what's in there. And possibly with, you know, taking it from him if I have to. A laser pistol? 
Is that... Hold up. Okay. Here's the deal. I do not want that gun. I will be happy, more than happy, to have an extra hundred Charons, which uh, puts me at 426, and frankly, I'll be very happy with that one. That amount makes me feel good inside, almost like I had a soul. Ah, who kidding? I don't even think I have feet. Oh well. If you guys liked the episode, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. That really helps out. And until later, my Crimson Knights. Thanks for watching. Adios.